Hello everyone, that is so cool to see you on here. Uh, Stan, I'm glad that you were able to get on here. This is really, really exciting. Uh, and um, let's get going, let's, let's get going. First of all, I wanna thank Jenna Zwagel so, so, so much for the honor to be able to share with you um, some of the fundamentals of what I've learned to be successful in this profession. And, and uh, man, without Josh and Jenna, I just don't know what I would do. I don't know what I would do without my daily choice. And let me start by just saying that I've been in this industry for 34 years. I've been very blessed to um, hit the top position in seven different companies. And uh, for some of you that, um, you know, have gone through from one company to another, the one thing that you're gonna figure out, and Jenna and I was going back and forth when we talked about this, is that, um, you know, people would rather learn skills or try to continue keep learning instead of working on you. And I'll never forget the first time that I, you know, seen Jim Rowan speak or Bob Proctor speak. And they told me that, you know, the number one thing that you got to do is you got to work on you. You got to work harder on you than you do anything else. And so Jen and I was going back and it was pretty funny because I'm going to teach you skill here, all skill, what I do on a day to day basis. But I do want you guys to understand for those of you that go, oh, my God, I'm so tired, tired of, of mindset. I'm so tired of, of working on me. Uh, that should be a sign. <laughs> <laughs> that should be a sign that you're actually going, ah, I don't want to go through this personal development stuff. And I see people posting and thank you so much. And so I want you guys to each understand is I've got a couple of quick stories to tell you. Uh, I totally gave up on this industry of network marketing, direct sales, uh, multi-level, whatever you want to call it. I, I, I call it marketing. Marketing 101 is very simply taking a product and a service from someone that either created it, invented it, innovated it, and they get it to the consumer, the person that actually wants it and uses it. And so when you find incredible products that are valuable to people and you learn how to share that with people with value, um, they'll exchange their credit on their credit card or they'll exchange cash, Bitcoin or whatever. And so, you know, I really love MDC. And prior to MDC, uh, I had basically given up. So first of all, for some of you, you just gotta realize that there might be things that you are doing and you're saying that you're, I'm doing them. I'm doing them very, very, very hard. If you're not doing them in a certain way, like it says in the, you know, the science of getting rich, you know what I mean? The books that, that um, Jenna has told you. And one of the things that is really, really amazing is that I'm gonna share some stuff with you today and I want you to think this part. I want you to think that um, this is something else that you can put into your toolbox. It's not the only way to do the business. It's just the way that I was taught to do the business. And one of the things that's very unique in this profession is that you usually do the business the way that you first got peaked interest, uh, the way that you were showing a pathway into the company, and then from there, how you got your first results. So a lot of people, when they first get involved in the company, because of the person that introduced them to the company, that's the way they do the business. So there's a lot of incredible leaders in this company. I mean, incredible leaders and documentation beats conversation and success leaves clues. So a lot of time when I share what I do, people go, oh my God, I just wish my sponsor or my upline would have told me that. No, it's just another way to do the business. It, it, it's just a different way. And, and so I want you to know that the stuff that I say is just another way. When the student's ready, the teacher appears. So the quick story I want to share with you all is that I had given up on the network marketing industry. In 2015, uh, there was a company that I worked for. I hit the top of the company. I was the number one earner. And the owners made some really, really stupid decisions. And it destroyed everything that I built. And so this was the uh sixth time the sixth time that i built a large organization got to 
you know, uh, 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 seven figures uh, a, a year in residual income and had it totally destroyed by, by either greed or, or um, you know, ego, EGO, edging God out. But now I look back at it, and Steve Jobs says this really well. It's, it's as easy to connect the dots after you've gone through it. While you're in it, you're like, hey, I, I, I just don't want to do it. So I had made a decision um, in 2015, maybe probably 2000, really 13. Um, but in 2015, I decided to build a brand. I hired coaches. I paid them, you know, 50, 100,000. I built my brand, Robert Hollis. Um, in 2012, I became an author for the first time. Uh, wrote another book. There's two of them on Amazon, also audio and also in Spanish. Uh, I did videos every single day. Um, I, I wrote blog content every single day. I would do a video and my wife, Terry, would transcribe it. And then we would, then they would correct it and put it on a blog post. And if you do really any due diligence of me, you're gonna see companies like Unlimited Profits, Unlimited Wisdom, um, you know, Life Mechanic. There was all these things that I did because I did them because other people did them. You know, Tony Robbins and Les Brown and Brendan Burchard and, and Frank Kern and Eric Worre and Ray Higdon and, and Todd Falcone. <laughs> uh, I, I, I thought, okay, that's my next move. That's what I'm going to do. And I could not have been, for me, it, it, other people are different, but for me, uh, I no longer you know, could actually um, do that because I, I, I was missing the principles that I was taught. And those principles are simple, residual income. Uh, I know there's a phrase out there that if you really truly got paid residual income, you would go through a fricking wall. You would do everything you can to get residual income. And, and uh, the other one is leverage. The so leverage is, a, is the whole co opportunity of actually understanding that if you help other people get what they want out of life, you'll get what you want out of life. So, you know, from the classic books, from Science of Getting Rich to uh, uh, Think and Grow Rich, all the classic books talk about helping others, including the Bible, right? And so when I grabbed onto people and I understood this principle, I've never had so much freedom in my life. I've never had such an incredible lifestyle. Um, we're in our new home right now in Laguna. Uh, uh, I, I'm gonna do a video uh, soon. Uh, I think Terry would get mad at me if I did it and the rooms were empty. <laughs> we, yesterday we just moved my son, uh, Matthew, and um, his wife, Hannah, into uh, their, new, uh, their new place. So a lot of wonderful things going on right now. And it's all because of my daily choice. And so getting back to the story, there's everything that I did. I made like three and a half million dollars with my brand, uh, but it wasn't for me. And let me explain to you why. It wasn't for me because um, I wasn't, I didn't have the, it was like I had a job. You know, so if I wasn't, you know, selling my courses, selling my books, selling engagements for me to speak on stage, um, the amount of money that it cost to sell that stuff as a brand uh, just was not for me. And, you know, it's crazy that I made, you know, three and a half million dollars in a period of years, but, you know, it felt like I spent two and a half million. <laughs> and so, it just wasn't for me and my incredible, lovely wife, Terry, uh, uh, that, that loves and adores me. I love and adore her. Uh, you know, we've been together now for, you know, 38 years. And she could see this happening to me. And uh, so, you know, I'm, me and my sons are, were working with me and we were just putting together and grinding and doing all this hustling and no freedom, no lifestyle, no nothing. And all of a sudden what happened is my wife said to me, there was a company that she was using a product called CBD, right? And, and she was using the product and the company went out of business, went out of business. And she said, you know, I should find, I wanna find another CBD. 
And what ended up happening is, you know, again, I'm, I'm going to do my best to stay away from personal development. I'm just going to give you facts. Um, I truly believe that when you're searching for something and seeking something and you put it out there, I need an answer to this. It's not like, you know, I can't do this. It's more like asking the question uh, to source or energy or God, whatever you call it. How can I do this? How can I do this? I want to find a good CBD uh, for my wife. And out of nowhere, I get this link and it said documentation beats conversation. <laughs> And I was going like, what? You know, I'm very blessed to have the patent and the trademark and the domain on that. And I just went and looked and listen to this. It was a lab report, a third party lab report for one of the products that my daily choice in hemp works offer. That's how, that's how we found hemp works in my daily choice. So listen closely, listen closely. You guys got to hear this, all right? So once I seen the name of the company, then what I did is I started researching to find the people that were doing well, doing extremely well in Hemp Works and My Daily Choice. Ran across a few individuals, and then I found Jenna Zwagel. Now, when I found Jenna's site, she had a link on the front of her Facebook profile. She didn't have a website. I'll say that again. She didn't have a website. Um, let me say that again. She didn't have a website. I clicked on her link and it went to a capture page for my daily choice. The number one female earner, the person that I look up to, that I finally know that a million dollars a month is possible in this business, she had a link on her Facebook page. I clicked on it, my ego still in the way. Uh, you know, EGO, Edging got out, I'm a trainer. I'm a network marketing guru. I'm a personal development person. Uh, uh, I spoke on stage with Tony Robbins and Les Brown and, and all of these guys. Uh, uh, I'm an author, a two-time author, blah, 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 uh, you know. Um, so I clicked on the link on Jenna's Facebook page and I signed my wife up. And when I signed my wife up, I looked through the products and I came in as a builder and I brought a bottle of CBD and it wasn't the big one. At that time it was 500 and it was natural. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to see what this thing does. Are you following me? I'm not excited. I'm not, I, I'm doing this for my wife, right? We're getting her a, a, a bottle of CBD. And so all of a sudden what happens is a couple days later, my wife looks at me and says, I'm getting emails every single day about a new person being underneath you, a new person being underneath you, a new person underneath you. Make sure you lock in your spot. I know some of you that will watch this video live or recorded, you go, why does MDC send out emails every Thursday? I'm already activated. I'm already in the company. It's to remind you to go out and because the rest of your team, the rest of your people got this email that you need to reach out to them and ask them, hey, did you get this email from MDC? Did you see that there's people underneath you? This is how Robert Hollis and Terry got involved in My Daily Choice Hemp Works. And so when that happened, I go, what are you talking about? And she's going, no, I'll send you the email. And as soon as she sent me the email, I'm going, who's putting people underneath us? Here's the ego clicking in it again. Well, maybe they seen, maybe Josh and Jenna seen Terry Hollis and not that it's, it's a pretty popular name by the way. Um, and so maybe they think that Terry's my wife. And so they're just putting people underneath me uh, to get my attention. <laughs> no, that's not what happened. It's the system that Josh has already put together. It's a system that, that, gave me 
um, what would be called excitement, a fear of loss. What do you mean? What, what, I don't know about these people. What could happen? And so I remember getting her username and password and logging in and seeing these few people underneath me. It wasn't a lot, but I was like, oh my God, in 30 plus years of doing this business, 30 plus years of doing this business, no one's ever put anyone underneath me. And so I started getting excited. I, I, I then went through a few videos. I then, you know, went through the compensation plan. I went on YouTube, tried to find, you know, where Josh was doing a presentation or one of the other leaders. I looked at the comp plan and I sold myself. Now, I'm not saying that I'm in yet. I'm still this guru guy. And, and so Terry said to me, and you guys have all heard this if you know our story, Terry said, listen, you know, I, I think I wanna do this. I, I, I think I wanna do this business, would you help me? And this incredible woman is, is back me and been my number one fan, my number one cheerleader, my number one support for, you know, at that time, what, 34 years? You know what I mean? And, and I'm just like going, man, I would do anything for her, anything for her. So of course what I did then is I reached out to Josh and Jenna and I asked them if we could jump on a Zoom. And I jumped on a Zoom, heard their vision, got excited, and the rest is history. We've been in just almost a little over three years. Uh, I know, uh, you know um, um, that we're not supposed to talk about incomes, I'm just saying that, uh, you know, triple, triple seven figures in that three years. And so I want you guys to understand that it's so, so important for you to understand the way that I got into this business because the way I got in this business became exciting to me, super, super exciting to me. I was going, man, this Joss and Jenna has figured this stuff out. And I want to do what they're doing. If Jenna's making more money than me, then, and Josh is making more money than me, and they've helped other people make more money than me at the present time, what do I need to reinvent? What do I need to do? So I just wanted to say that statement up front because Josh and Jenna have been so great to Terry and I. We've never been treated better uh, by any, any, any owners of any company. I've never made this much money this fast with this few of people. So I know the opportunity of MDC is available uh, to everyone in the world. And I'm so excited to find people that would love to fall in love with the system because more important to me is freedom. So having a lifestyle and freedom. Now, I am gonna say one extra thing before I go into exactly how to find the right people. But one of the things that I think that was really, really crazy is when I first got the chance to talk to Jenna, I said, listen, you know, what, what's great? She told me about, you know, this book, Money and the Law of Attraction, and, and um, you know, you know by, by Esther and Jerry Hicks. And she showed me a copy of the book. And she said, you know, this has really, really been the fundamental book for me. And I was like, hey, okay, thank you. <laughs> I ordered the book immediately. I ordered the book immediately. Um, the student wasn't ready. The student wasn't ready. And so when I started getting excited about MDC, I started doing a bunch of stuff that I used to do in other companies. Did you guys hear me? I, I started doing all the stuff that I did in previous companies. Uh, you know, you know, everything. And what I did is I now look at where I probably could easily hit super affiliate in my first like nine, 10 months. But no, I got myself in the way. I, I started putting together a Facebook group and testimonial pages. And again, I, if other people are doing that, that's okay, that's okay. Uh, I started doing you know daily presentations uh, weekly trainings. I had three weekly trainings going. I was doing all these things that were things that didn't get me and Terry in the business. <laughs> None of that stuff 
got us in the company. The system got us in the company. So it took me a little bit of time to slowly get rid of old school. I think I seen a post the other day, not think, I know I did, of Todd Falcone standing by an old phone booth with two tin cans that he was holding in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> Todd, I still haven't got a chance to watch your, your, your training, but I promise I will. Um, Todd is just amazing. I, I love a lot of the people and the trainers in this company. They all come from a different perspective, a different way that they've been able to prove that it works for them, right? And so, but I thought it was important for me to tell you that all of a sudden I started listening just to the CD that came in that book. And I found out later it was just a last chapter. But there was a lot of story that I was telling myself, a lot of things I was telling myself that weren't true. And so I'm going to get off the mindset. I wanted to tell you who I am and where, where, why I'm doing so well. MDC, Hempworks, uh, Josh and Jenna system. <laughs> End of story, right? Okay, so... Now what I started doing is I shut down my brand. I shut my brand down. I took all the courses. You go to roberthollis.com right now, you can't buy any courses. Uh, I got rid of Confusionsoft. Some people call it Infusionsoft. I got rid of my autoresponder. I got rid of my merchant account. I got rid of everything. And I just wanted to share with you guys that by reading that book, I started stripping away all the stuff that was taking a lot of my time and causing me a lot of distractions and focusing on the thing I'm going to share with you right now. Now, I'm not saying that you should stop doing stuff. I'm just saying that, wow, if I could get down just to the money producing activities in this business, if I could just get down to just doing the things that mattered most, I wonder what would happen. That was October a couple of years ago, six months later, super affiliate. And all of a sudden I'm having months in breaking records that I've had for 34 years. And I'm making it simpler. I'm making it easy. I'm going back to what are the really, really basics in this industry. And so let me give you the first one. Um, but I wanted to say, you got to get that book. You got to listen to it. If you want it on audio, you got to read it. You got to learn to change the way you think, because I'm about ready to share with you what I believe is the most important way to make huge income in this money, life changing income in this money for you and other people. You know, I think I seen Candace Bird Davis on here and a lot of people, you know, I didn't want to make a big deal out of it because, you know, it, but she's number 62 for me. 62 people have told me that I had a lot to do with them making over a million in commissions. And so, you know, I, 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 I'm like, how can we make this simpler? How can we make it easier? Because going back to 34 years ago when my mentor, so again, Jenna sharing me that book and me studying that book, not, hey, I read it, hey, I listened to it, no, the study of that book, the study of that material changed my story, changed who I am, changed the way I thought, and changed everything. So Jenna, thank you so, so much. It was her patience. I don't know if you guys realize this, but Jenna's going to tell you exactly what to do. And then... And if you don't do it, you don't get results. It's not Jenna's fault. <laughs> if you would go back, you know, I, I think I seen this a post and it could have been by Jenna. It's like if things are not working for you and I mean working fast, once you get this in your heart and your mind, it will happen fast. Some people are going, oh, my God, you don't know how awful I am. This is going to take forever. No, not when you got the right thinking and the right story in your heart. You have to believe that this will work for you. If no one's giving you permission to succeed in life, let me be the first. Let me be the first because my mentors did that for me. 
So that's my story <laughs> that Jenna was me, Jenna and I was talking about. How do you tell people to be successful without talking about mindset? <laughs> so uh, there you go. So if you reach out to me and say, Robert, things are not working for me, I'm gonna ask you how long you've been studying that book. I know that Jen is giving you some other books and they're ones that I studied the first time I heard about that through Bob Proctor and Jim Rowan and, and, and my mentor, uh, Bill. So here we go, here we go. Finding the right people, finding the right people. I know you guys know this, but teaching through stories, you know, parables, theoreticals, examples, that's the way that people remember them. And so I wanna share with you a very quick story about me, all right, getting involved in network marketing 34 years ago. Very quick. Um, got hurt on the job as an auto mechanic i messed up my knee almost got it amputated jesse thank you so much for posting that um and all of a sudden they told me that i i were going to do surgery on my knee and i might not be a mechanic anymore i couldn't buy that that was only the only thing in the world i was good at at the time i wasn't even good at relationships i wasn't good at anything mechanic is where you know i i found my calling and i loved it and all of a sudden they messed up on the surgery, found out six months later, and they told me that I was gonna be out longer. So nine months on workman's comp, making 900 bucks a month, and I became very open-minded. <laughs> I had lost everything. I was, you know, fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 in debt. Um, I had the repo man following me around for a used car that I got a pawn loan on. I don't have electricity. And I just pray to God that every one of you don't wait to get this humbled before you start listening to other people that have already got success. Huh? Some of you, uh, that's all I'll say. It's, it's just, you know, I'll, I'll get on that track, right? And so this is the simple thing. Now, when I say this, people are not going to hear me. They're not going to believe me. Some of you will, and it'll change your life. You cannot say the wrong thing to the right people. So everybody wants to know, what's the script? What should I say? Why not trust your instincts? Why not trust intuity and be an intuitive? Why not think about perspective? There's a lot of things out there that you can just trust your gut and your instincts and connect with people. So I wrote about him in my book, Sean Hennigan is his name. He's gonna get credit forever because this person had the courage to reach out to me. And he was told by my mentor to find the very best people he knew. My mentor did not teach people how to do this business. He taught them how to get excited about what would happen in your life if you're making six figures a year. What would happen if you were making seven figures? How would your life change? Would you live in a nicer area? Would you have a beautiful home? Would you nice have nice vehicles? Would you be giving to your church? It's called dreamscaping. It's called getting them to dream again. What would you do with this kind of income? Oh my God, I pay off that. I do this, I do this. So he said that to Sean, connect the best people you know and connect them to the system connect them to the video. So get excited about how your life's gonna change is number one. Two, learn to promote and edify people that have already done it. In this case, Josh and Jenna. If you're not edifying and promoting properly, Josh and Jenna, I'm sorry. You're gonna have a difficult time at this. Now, some people say, well, what about just edifying your upline? Well, yeah, you could do that too, but don't leave out the people that created the vision and the opportunity that pays us every Thursday. Huh? Just, just a thought. Um, I don't get paid by other people. I get paid by my daily choice. So I'm giving praise and recognition there. Why would I teach people to do that? Because they're always there. They're the ones that created the business. You don't have to edify and promote me. Promote the system and what it's done for people like me. So get excited about what could be possible if you actually had this kind of lifestyle. 
Two, get extremely good at edifying and promoting. Edifying and promoting, and then put them in front of the information. So that's what Sean Hennigan was told. So he calls me up and he says, hey, Bobby, what's going on? And I'm going, ah, it's great. Do people lie all the time? I wasn't doing great. I had no electricity. I was getting kicked out of my apartment. I wasn't doing great. Hey, Bobby, how you doing? Ah, great. He goes, hey, listen, he messed up. He said, have you heard of Amway? which by the way, is an $8.4 billion company even today, okay? Um, number one, I said, nope, I had never heard of network marketing, any kind of sales, network, nothing. Amway, I haven't heard. And I go, no. And he goes, well, listen, it's, it's, it's sort of like that and it's legal. Now, don't send me messages going, Amway's legal. I know it is, but I'm just telling you my story. So he first said something that I didn't understand. And so I said, Sean, what, what are you trying to say? And he said, Bobby, listen, I met this guy named Bill Gould. He showed me his check. It was still attached to the stub and it was $62,000 for the month. And he's expanding a company and he's looking for people that he can train and teach how to use their system where an individual by doing what he tells them could earn six figures their first year in business. I want to meet this guy. See, it didn't make a difference that Sean sort of messed up because I was the right person at the right time. Are you guys hearing me? Now here's another phrase. You cannot say the right thing to the wrong person. <laughs> Some of you are spending your entire time talking to uninterested people. Why not just find people that are interested? Why spend so much time trying to talk about the top plan, the products, the, the network marketing, everything to uninterested people? Why not just find interested people? Just a thought, okay? So here we go. <laughs> I, I hope you guys are enjoying this. I, I, I hope you're getting it. So I'm like, man, I wanna meet this guy. I'll come pick you up and I got a cast on my leg. I'm excited because I got a chance to hear from and learn from Someone that could teach me how to make that kind of income. And I need to be totally, totally bold and honest with every one of you. After being that much in debt, I was just wanting to go, man, what if, if this guy's making 62 grand, what if I just follow what he's doing and I can make 4,000 a month so I can take care of me and my family? I couldn't have been at a lower place in my life, you guys. I was thinking about... <laughs> I was thinking about doing unethical and illegal things to generate money so I wouldn't get kicked out of my apartment, so I wouldn't lose my car. So I go meet this guy, and I know some of you will hopefully take notes. I'm telling you these things. But I went to this little room. It, couldn't, it, was, it was smaller than this office that I'm in right now. <laughs> and he introduced the video and put a video in the guy that was on the video put a video in for me to watch and the rest of the people there there was like probably nine people there why would a person that's successful not do the presentation why would he make me watch a video or tell me to watch a video because it's duplicatable. Wait a minute. All you got to do is introduce a video, put the video in and press play on the VCR. Ah, I can do that. 
Now, I know the other people are going to tell you, hey, hey, got to be a leader, got to be a trainer, got to be a presenter, got to do presentations. If they say that and you want to do that, do that. Bobby Hollis, the ex-auto mechanic, would have never got in front of a room if, if you held a gun to my head. I'm an introvert. How many auto mechanics do you guys know? I had three friends. They were other auto mechanics. And I watched the video. I didn't understand it all. It just made sense to me. I couldn't have repeated it to anybody. I just went, wow, you know, this makes sense. This makes sense. And if it makes sense, it'll make dollars. All right? So now the ego kicks back in. Video's done. He walks up to me. Doesn't say, what do you think? He said, listen, what do you like most about what you see? And I said, looks to me like you can make money doing this. And I, I definitely need to make money. He goes, you're absolutely right. Then he looked at me and he said, where do you see yourself getting started? I go, getting started. Yeah, you can you know, create a free account and start at 25% jumpstart, or you can become a builder, you can become a director, an executive, an executive pro. Where do you see yourself getting started? I started laughing. I'm going, <laughs> I don't have a dime to my name. My electricity's off. And he goes, oh, okay. Well, when you do see yourself getting started, let me know. I'll be here. And he turned around and walked away from me. Now, we had a previous conversation where he said, wow, how long have you had a cast on your leg? I said, this is like the fourth one for nine months. He goes, what does workman's comp pay now? I like 900 bucks. He goes, oh my God. You know, how much do you need to make before the end of the month before you start losing some more stuff? I said, I need to make $3,800. And he goes, I can definitely show you how to do that. Um, I had no clue what the company marketed for products. I think My Daily Choice Hemp Works now, coming up soon, will have way over 200 SKUs. A SKU is uh, identification for an individual product. So they have over 200 products. I was interested in how I could make extra income. He seen me and he focused in on what I was looking for. So I thought, oh my God. And so he then I went, back, I followed him back. I got on my crutches and I went back there and I just said, could you really show me how to, to make money before the end of month? And he said, absolutely. Absolutely, but you gotta be ready to go. I go, I'm ready, let, 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 let's do it. And I said, I, I'm sorry, I don't have any money. And he goes, what if I could show you how to make money and you didn't need to invest the dime? See, now, when he said that, I went, I, I'm in. He goes, great. He says, I need you to listen to me closely. We're looking for people that want to make six figures plus a year. I said, okay, so I'm going to give you a description of a person and I want, want you to think of a first name. I'm just going to ask you at the end for the first name. He goes, ready? I said, yeah. He goes, who's the most successful person you know? Who's extremely motivated? Who is very competitive? If you played a game of darts with them or bowling, if you beat them, they would say, I want to go again. I want to go again. I want to go again. I said, okay. He goes, um, who's like a born leader? They're like, like, like when they come to a party or something and you see them, there's all these groups around them. They're super positive. Uh, they're always like saying great things. They're always seeing the silver lining in the cloud. They got nice cars. They got nice toys. They got nice clothes. He says, was there a person that came to your mind that fit any of those descriptions? I said, yeah, his name is Rick. He goes, why Rick? I said, well, 
He worked with his father. They own a plumbing company. It's called Nice Plumbing. N-I-C-E, Nice Plumbing. That's their last name. And he's now taking over his father's business. And he's got boats. He's got snowmobiles. He's got wave runners. He's got, you know, a, a, a fifth wheel trailer. You know, he's got a nice home. He's got a nice man cave. <laughs> he goes, okay, Robert. Listen, I said, I'm listening. He says, if I reached out to Rick and said these things, hi, Rick, this is Bill. You don't know me, but I'm here with a friend of yours, Robert. Do you got a minute? Sure. Listen, I asked Robert who he knew that could help us expand this company. We got an incredible training system, incredible momentum in our company. We're breaking records. People are making incredible income. And we're looking for people that right now can help us expand that company that want to learn how to make six figures a year. I asked Robert who he knew that might know these kind of people. And he said, you, Rick based off his recommendation, I was wondering if there's any way that we could get to spend a few moments together. I can share with you who and what we're doing. And I know for a fact, when you see who we are, how documented we are and what we have, you're going to know of some people that we can help and in turn help grow this company. And I went, wow. And he goes, Robert, if that's what I would say to Rick, would you let me contact him on your behalf? I was like, yeah. He goes, what's his number? <laughs> <laughs> he immediately called Rick and did exactly what he said. Did you hear that? And Rick, I could hear Rick talking. He's going, yeah. And he said, you got a pen and paper? And he goes, yeah. And he gave, gave him the address. And then he says, Rick's on his way down. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not in the company yet. I haven't bought product. I'm not a rep. And this guy went out of his way to show me what he did, not tell me what he did. Not tell me to watch a training video. Not tell me to go to a million trainings. He got Robert Hollis excited about introducing him to a person that was more qualified than me, that worked on their mindset, worked on their personal development, already an entrepreneur, already has a center of influence, already has money, already has respect. The auto mechanic, $50,000 in debt, having the repo man looking for his car, getting kicked out of his apartment with no electricity. That guy got Rick to the information. See, some of you want to be the deal. I don't want to be the deal. Sometimes I've been forced to. Thank God I'm with MDC Hemp Works, Joss and Jenna Zwegel. Are you kidding me? They put together the very best opportunity that I know that's available today. Why do you want to add more stuff to it? Okay. So Rick comes down and there's this thing in the MDC system. It's called fear of loss. Fear of missing out. And so Rick came down. I watched this guy say, hi, Rick. If you got, please take the time to watch this video. He put the video in the VCR and he pressed play. Rick got done watching it. He walked up to him and he said, what do you like most about what you've seen here? And Rick said, my God, this is incredible. I, I like everything about it. He goes, where do you see yourself starting? At the top position I can come in at. I, I, wow. Did you guys hear this? 
help your people get results help them get excited and go out and help them peak interest and get the person into the system to create a free account don't tell them to do it every one of you that are watching this video right now has a chicken list and you have a chicken list because you're still waiting to get the check or get the rank or get the new car or get new clothes or everything. You don't think that you can contact the people that would make you a super or master affiliate in this company. You're not reaching out to people that have already possessed the skills where they'll call anybody. <laughs> You reach out to the people that are above you that are going for rank advances and said, hey, listen, I thought after watching this training with Robert that I, you know, I thought of some people that I would love your help connecting uh, with and what maybe to say to them. And people always ask me, what's your script? I don't know. God created us all unique. We all got different DNA, fingerprints, irises in our eyes. We're unique. We're different. So someone wants to use like school where you actually take a canned script and you say the same thing to all the same people. Again, if you're doing that and that works, keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, if it's not working, maybe you should treat people like people. Bill didn't call up Rick, the guy I referred him and said, do you keep your business options open? He's an entrepreneur, he owns his own plumbing business. He has his own employees. He's already making bank, he's extremely focused. No, my mentor got him to watch the information because he was gonna help Robert. And maybe he might know some people that currently need help to help the company that now Robert's participating in. That's how you find the right people. Did you guys click? Did it click? God, I hope it did. So after Rick says he's in, here was the fear of loss. So you guys, I, I know there's some of you that heard me do trainings before. If you let everyone come in for a free account, now it's buying product, who's making money? I am. <laughs> now, so how many of you would like me in your group? Me and Terry in your group. Jenna didn't call me. Josh didn't call me. Nobody called me. Nobody called me. I think I seen it on here. It was the cutoff letter that came on Thursday that my wife got. And then me going back to the person that I clicked on their link on the website. Wow. Okay. So how do you find the right people? By helping the people that you're bringing in get excited about connecting you with the best people they know. So I was taught this years ago that on a scale of one to 10 without being judgmental or beating everybody up, I would say the skills that I had when I started in this industry 34 years ago on a scale of one to 10 was probably a one. I was very motivated I had great work ethic, but very introverted, not a person that liked talking to people, uh, hated people that were salespeople, didn't want to be a salesperson. Oh my God, some of the trainings that you forced people to go through, you guys would have lost me. The second way you would have lost me, um, I don't have any money right now. To do all, to do do, gone, bye. Find a way, sell something come in as a Zekovic Pro. I would not be in this industry and help the people that I've had if my mentor didn't look at me and said, listen, let me show you how we can get money in your pocket. Who's the best people that you know? Not give me a list of 200 people. Who are the very best people you know? Are you guys getting this? So after Rick said he got in, then of course the fear of loss worked 34 years ago. He said, Bill said, Robert, you got a second? I said, sure. He says, I, I gotta talk to you private. He goes, Rick right now is getting in the company, but you, you're not an affiliate yet. 
What are you talking about? Well, you need to be a paid affiliate. And MDC, you don't. You have to create a free account. So he could have said to me, Robert, you got to be a free affiliate so that we got a link that's coded to you so you get credit and get paid for helping Rick get involved. And with this amazing comp plan, you know, paying 50%, 25% at Jumpstart for a free member, then my mentor would have said something like this to me. Robert, if you come in for free, you're going to get 25%. You could have made 50% that's actually going to, you know, other people if you could find a way, if you could find a way to come in as executive in the United States. Other countries is direct. I went, I said, hang on a second. I went out to Rick. Rick was filling out an order form for product. And I asked Rick to borrow me the money to get into the company that I just brought him in. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, I paid him back. So how you find people is through your people. You find people, I don't care how you're building it right now, but if you went back to them, and went to every person in your organization and strategized with them on how to connect with the very, very best person they know. Strategize, mastermind, ask for the answer. Because I know a lot of you know who Candace Bird Davis is. If you ask Candace Bird Davis and she can post on here, how many of you would love to have her and Javon and Javon Jr. in your organization, all of her team. Oh my God. So I had one of my dear friends, Fred Herzog, that died. And me and him have worked together forever. And he was with another company because I quit and was going to be a brand, an author, a trainer. <laughs> yeah, okay. And when he died, he looked at his team and he said, reach out to Robert Hollis. He'll show you guys how to do this business if you need any help. That's what he told him before he died. Thank you, Fred. And I had this woman reach out to me and said, Fred told me to get a hold of you. I said, so how are things going? She said, they're not doing well. I said, listen, I would love to share with you guys exactly what you should do. And I shared similar to what I shared on this training. I told her to get the best people she knows on this Zoom. And one of the people on that Zoom was Candace Bird Davis. Man, if you get out of your own way, here's the crazy story. And some of you know it. The person that introduced me to Candace Bird Davis, the company found out about it and they reached out to her. She was with another company and they made her a deal to, and paid her to stay in the company. And so that person, along with the other women that were on the, the Zoom, decided to get paid and stayed with that company. Candace Bird Davis reached out to Robert Hollis and said, listen, um, I'd like to get to know you and I'd like to work with you did exactly what my mentor did to me 34 years ago with this one lady that didn't even get in, didn't get in, didn't buy, didn't participate, went back to her old company and introduced me to Candace Bird Davis. So if you guys want to know, wow, how do you find the right people? You work with ones and twos to find people from one to 10 that are threes and fours. You help the three the four, and the fours introduce you to five and sixes. You work with the five and sixes to find eight and nines. You work with the eight and nines to find tens. And when you're blessed to find someone like a Candace Bird Davis or a, a Tomas, Adam and his father, they're already leaders. They already worked on personal development. They want to get better. I, I, I introduced Candace to Joss and Jenna. They like adopted her. 
And now me and Candace have these incredible conversations. You know, ah, I'm going to super, I'm going to master. That's how you find the right people. I call it GTR, get them results. So in closing, I wanna share with you how I motivate people that are free to, to give me the people they know. It's through a part of the compensation plan called check matching. Okay, so listen closely. I reach out and tell people, hey, listen, <clears throat> I'll use Candace since there, there, there she's here. And I'll say, hey, Candace, I'll leave a voice message on Messenger. Hi, Candace, this is Robert. I hope this message finds you and yours blessed and safe during these crazy times. I just was on a video conference or a training and I thought of you. Hope everything's going great. And, 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 end of conversation, peak of interest, that's it. Well, I wonder what they're saying about me. Why did I come to his mind? Whatever it is. So she comes back and says, you know, me and Javon's doing this and we're doing this and I'm telling her a little bit. I build a connection again. Then I say to her, hey Candace, I was wondering if you could do me a huge personal favor. Right now I'm helping a company expand. It's won awards two years in a row as one of the fastest growing companies. One of the, 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 the woman at the top woman in the company named Jenna, uh, she's seven figures. It's, it's on a website, seven figures a month. And they put this incredible company together. It's just amazing. And I'm helping them expand it. Would you do me a huge favor? I'd like to send you a link and I'd love you to create a free account with their company, just like you would if you were with Amazon or YouTube or Facebook. Um, it's an affiliate company. And you can create, create an account for free. And then once you go through the information, the owner of the company, uh, Josh and Jenna, Josh has done these short, short videos. I'd like you to watch those videos and you're gonna know everything that you need to know to refer me people that I know for a fact would use this, but it would also help the company grow. Would you do me a huge favor? Allow me to send you that. Create a free account. I'll point, guide, and direct you. And I know you're gonna know some people that we can help. And then I let the system do the rest of the work. So that's what I do. So it's not gonna work for you if you don't believe in you. It's not gonna work for you if you don't believe that this process will work. It's not gonna work. So then we can go back to the personal development. <laughs> <laughs> so you've gotta to learn to put this book in your head so that you feel like you're enough because all you need to do is attract a Candace Bird Davis or a Tomas Adam. And now you're in a position where you're making seven figures a year and everybody thinks that you're an incredible person when all you did is get excited about what's the possibilities, learn to promote and edify Josh and Jenna, MDC and Hempworks and in, in put people into the system. Now, when I reach out to them and they say, I got a few questions, I go, this company pays 30%, up to 30% for referring people to the company. Once you created an account that gave you that affiliate link, that's coded to you, it, it's coded to you. And if you can give me some names of people that I can connect in your behalf or connect with you, or you could connect them. If they decide to go out and decide to do this business to better their family, to change their life and their family tree forever, you can be in a position to make 30% off their residual check every single month. Can you imagine that? What would you do with that money? Oh my God, I pay down debt. And now we're in that circle. So my time is up. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please post a uh, yes if you got anything out of this. Um, this is what I've reduced 
my business down to is the ability to ask people to help me out, show them how to create a free account, show them what they could generate in income by introducing me to the very best people they know. I know you can do this. I love and appreciate you. Jenna, again, thank you so much for the honor to be able to share this with people. And again, if no one's given you uh, permission to succeed in life, let me be the first. You can do this. And if you're telling yourself the wrong story, please read that book, Money and the Law of Attraction. Especially listen to that audio, that last chapter. And learn to tell a different story about you. There's millions and millions and millions of people out there that need this business, that need Josh and Jenna's vision, that need to be paid more than they're currently earning. They need a better lifestyle. That's what I market. Take care, God bless, talk to you soon.